Protecting air travelers became a priority, of course, after 9-11. So 10 years ago this month, the new Transportation Security Administration took over aviation security. On the front lines, high above, are the federal air marshals. Bob Orr gives us a rare look inside their program. To make it as federal air marshals, recruits must be able to run up evacuation slides, outscore other federal agents on gun ranges, learn how to react in life or death circumstances on crowded airplanes with no backup. Joseph D'Angelilio is in charge of air marshal training. What kind of person are you looking for? Someone who doesn't live in a black and white world because at 35,000 feet, we don't give them black and white answers. Prospects spend 120 hours training with weapons. And as this tape provided by the air marshal shows, recruits endure a rigorous mix of martial arts and mental exercises. Shots fired! Shots fired! Since threats can emerge without warning, complacency is an enemy. The program was languishing before 9-11. On the day of the attacks, there were only 33 federal air marshals. Now there are thousands. The exact number is classified. But in the past two years alone, 25 new classes have gone through this training facility. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. The most recent graduates just got so their badges from Homeland Security Secretary Janet Napolitano. Welcome aboard. Since the federal air marshals are America's most secret federal police force, we cannot identify them. Anonymity is critical for air marshals to blend in with the 1.8 million people who fly each day. There's a game that's been played for ever since 9-11, pick out the air marshals. And it's a great game because people assume they're everywhere. And that's you like a great, it. It's a great for, a force multiplier. Air Marshal Kimberly Thompson flew for eight years before moving to headquarters. She says air marshals are taught to continuously scan for potential threats. And so we're looking continually at the passengers around us, the passengers that are getting up and going into the restrooms or moving about the cabins uh, for any given reason to determine why is that person getting out of their seat. Despite the force buildup, federal air marshals still cover just a fraction of the 30,000 daily flights in the U.S. Over the past decade, they've made few arrests and have never fired a weapon in flight. But air marshals cannot lower their guard knowing that aviation remains the top target of terrorists. Bob Orr, CBS News, Atlantic City. The Air Marshal's service was formed during the Kennedy administration to stop hijackings to Cuba. The first class graduated 50 years ago next month.